okay guys so now that we are done installing the php driver for mongodb we are going to create our pages which is the login the sign up and the profile pages and also from there you are going to uh, try working with the uh, php server to mongodb okay so what we are going to do now is i'm going to open my text editor which is sublime test this is what i'll be using then i'm going to start i'm going to click on zam control panel and i'm going to start apache okay now i'll click on explorer i'll go to so after starting and clicking on explorer you can just minimize this now you look uh, you locate or look for a folder called htdocs you open that one then i'm going to create inside here you can just work within this i'm going to create a folder called uh, mongo so this is going to be my project folder so the project folder is called mongo i'm just going to drag this and paste it inside my text editor so that uh, i will have e easy navigation here so i'm just going to divide my screen here i think the next uh, screen that we need is my uh this one i think yeah so i have my web browser at the left side and the text editor at the uh, right side now what i need to do is to first uh open my web browser then i'll uh, navigate to i'll just enter i'll open a new so when you open your web browser i'm going to have something like this what you have to do is just enter localhost then this time going to be forest large the project name so i named my project name mongo so i'm just going to name this or enter uh, localhost forest slash mongo then i'll press enter so you can see now i have nothing in the directory here i'm going to create my first directory which is going to be the index page and the index page is going to be the login page okay so i'll just create a new file i'll save this file as index.php so this is not going to be html but the extension is going to be .php okay so index.php and i'm going to create another so when i refresh this now we are going to see a blank uh a blank page since this is the index page i'm just going to see a blank page okay so when you see something like this i can just enter anything there when i save and refresh now you can see i have it here okay so i'm going to create another page so mind you we are creating three pages so the first one is the login page which is the index uh, the second page is going to be the sign up page so sign up.php i'll save this also then the third page is going to uh, be profile.php okay i'll save this also now i'm going to close the index and the profile page now i'll start with the sign up page i'm just going to create a basic html form here so what i need to do is so i just name this sign up then i'll create a basic html form without any styling so i'm going to have an action and the action will come to this one later we're also going to have a method here and the method is going to be post so for now let's leave the action blank we'll come to that one later and i'm going to create um some input fields here so input and the first field is going to be our name so you can do full name or first name i'm just going to do text here and the um placeholder is going to be so let me just bring this down a bit going to be first name now i'm going to have sorry i'm going to have a name attribute which will be f name and also an id which will be same as f name i'll explain this to later okay now what you have to do is you are going to use some basic html um, validation here so i'm using required code to make sure uh our this input is 
there's something in the input before we can we'll be able to submit okay so i'm going to save this then preview okay so now I'm, we are using the we are currently in the index page so what i'll do is so after forward uh, local who's forward slash mongo i'm just going to add sign up dot php here so now we have our sign up page with our index uh sorry our input field here i'm just going to uh break this line to break it then i'll copy paste it down here i'll change this to last name then i'll change this to l name okay so i'll refresh this also so you can see i have the first name i have the last name then i think we can also take the email address you can take email so i'm using basic html validation here by changing the text to email then i'll change the placeholder to email i'll change this to to email the the name and the id to email um i'm making sure that that's also a required field here then i'll come down here um let's what do you need again phone number so you can do phone number so we change this to test we change this to phone number i'll just change this to phone number then uh, let me just refresh okay so we have this then i think uh, what can we do again let's add uh yeah phone number let's add password so i'll change this field to so first of all let me change it to test then i'll show you why we need to use password so I'll say password now it's say password so we are not going to be doing any serious validation here we just want to submit the form to mongodb uh, database so uh what do you have again so first name last name email phone number then password so if you have any other field that you want to any other input field that you want to add to this you can do that i'm just going to stick with uh i think these five inputs here then the last one is going to be our button to submit so here you can use either an input field with a value uh then with a value or you can just use a, ba a button so i'm just going to show you both then you tr you try and like you choose the one that you want so the first one is going to be text then the, there wouldn't be any placeholder here so i don't need placeholder but i will need the name and id which is going to be submit or uh, i'll say sign up then i'll change the required to value then inside the value i'm just going to pass in sign up then from the from the types sorry sorry so this is not text but rather type so we change this to type and not test okay so from the type i'm going to use uh submit so when i refresh this you can see now when i try to sign up it's telling me to make sure i say what uh, please fill out this field so this 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 is a basic HTML validation because of the required reuse here. Okay, so if you don't want any validation, you can just uh, delete the required field here. Oh, sorry, the required attribute here. Now, uh, so this is one way of using a button, or you can do this also by introducing a button here like this, and I'll say sign up. This time, the type is also going to be submit. The name is going to be sign up. The ID is also going to be sign up. Now, when I refresh this, you can see I have the same thing here, which does the same purpose. So I'm just going to stick with one. So I will use um uh, the input type, and I'm just going to below the form. I'm just going to introduce some input tag here, and this will help us navigate to the login screen. So login. So I can see something like already have an account. Okay, so if so, then I can log in. So when I click on this, this one should redirect me to the index page. So index.php. 
now when i refresh so you can see i have this link there when i click on this it takes me to the index page okay okay so now what you need to do is let's create our um, index page so i'm just going to copy this i'll go to my index.php i'll paste this here now when i click on login you can see i have the same thing here now on the index page or the or on the login page we need only our email and password so we don't need any phone number so we need these two fields email password and we're going to change the sign up to login also change this to login then yeah i think yeah we are going to change it to uh new customer so if you are a new customer then it's account so i'm going to change this to sign up okay now i refresh this so you can see now i have my email field my password field then login then also if i want to create new account i can just click on this one which will take me to the sign up page so now i'm done with the sign up I'm done with the um, the index page, the login. I'm going to create the profile page. So the profile page, I'm going to have some basic information here. So I'll just go to the profile page here. I'll paste this. Now let's go to let's change the the route to profile.php. I'll click enter here. So you can see we have the same thing here. Now the profile page, you don't need anything here, but the information of the of the uh, the user so what you're going to do is you're going to create a simple table here it is going to display the information of the user so i have a table row and inside a table i have some table data here and the first one is going to be first name then so it's first name First name I'll have something here, okay. So I'm going to replace when you start with the MongoDB and the PHP connection, they're going to replace the name here. So I'm going to refresh this. So we have first name. I'll just copy uh this and paste it. So I'll change this to last name. I think we have email too. We have email. Sorry have email we have um we don't need to bring the password here okay no need to show the user password on uh, the profile page so we need a phone number I'll refresh this so we have email last name phone number let me go back and see what we have so email okay so we have this So I'm just go to the profile page again. Okay, then what I'll do is I'm just going to uh introduce another field uh another attribute or a table row here. Sorry, so I'm just going to add a use an anchor tag inside. This time I'm just going to make it edit so the user should be able to edit his or information. So I'm just going to uh enter this here edit uh, dash profile dot php then um, i think the next one i'm just going to introduce um so let me just refresh this and see what we have here okay so we have edit here then this one i'm going to introduce logout okay so so that the user will be able to log out when he or she is done using the page so i'm just going to introduce another page called logout.php so we are going to create the edit uh, .php, edit profile.php and the edit profile.php will, will look just like the sign up okay so let's just copy this let's create another file i'll save this file as edit.php with edit profile edit dash profile dot php i'll save this then i'll paste this here i'll paste this here then 
uh what i'll do is i'll refresh this okay so we have logout we have edit when i click on edit you see i have this here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to um go back to, i'm going to change this to go back to profile so i can just use go back or oh, simply profile page then i'll change this to profile.php because that's what that's the page we have so i refresh this then i'll change the button to updates info so you can just use updates or you can use anything that you want so here yeah, i'm going to pass, i'm just i'm going to do away with the password we can change the we can edit the password as well but in this video we're not going to edit password so what i'll do is i'll do away with the password then when we start with the mongodb and php uh server linking you are just going to pull the data from mongodb and show them in the field here okay so now i have the pages i have uh i think four pages i have the index page which is the login page i have the sign up page i have the uh login page that's the index page i have the sign up the edit profile then i need one more file called so i'm going to save this as logout.php yeah i'm just i'm not going to do anything here at the moment i'll just close this then um i think i'll close these pages as well our profile page is going to be protected so if the user is not logged in we'll make sure he or she cannot go to the profile page or the edits page so what you are going to do is i'm going to now do or work on the sign up page so now i'll change this i'll go back to sign up page here so i'm going to you're going to work on this and make sure we connect to uh, whatever the user enters here will be sent to the mongodb database